The Broadcasting Corporation announcing a restructuring initiative to propel ZNS to its once prominent position in news and television programming. The changes include the movement of some staff members and the launch of a local TV production department. As Betty Thompson Moss reports, the restructuring comes as the corporation moves into a new digital era in technology. The corporation is describing the changes as organizational restructuring. The company feels this will allow ZNS to regain its position in the Bahamian marketplace, which has seen the launch of competition in recent years. In a statement, the corporation's executive chairman, Dr. William Thompson, says, while ZNS remains number one, it has lost significant market share to some of its competitors, which the corporation intends to regain. The chairman further notes that ZNS Television also loses a sizable segment of its viewing audience between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. with little to no significant income from advertisement during this period. He says the corporation is seeking to change this with more exciting, innovative programs in early 2013. According to Dr. Thompson, the corporation is also working to strengthen its national news and re-establish a local TV production department to create high-quality indigenous programs for the benefit and enjoyment of Bahamians. All this taking place as ZNS moves to a digital format early next month. Meantime, it was decided that a number of staff in the news department will be reassigned to the newly created local TV production department, along with the necessary television personnel to produce programming that will attract Bahamians. Further, to bring fresh focus to news, several staff adjustments will be made, including new hires to replace those persons reassigned to television production and programming. Management says the affected staff members were advised of the impending adjustments during individual meetings on August 16th. Now, according to the statement, no staff members will be terminated or suffer loss of salary or benefits during the restructuring exercise. Betty Thompson Moss, ZNS News.